Okay, literally, it feels like it's been not long since I started Ruby. Because I started Ruby back in January. I think. I'm pretty sure. I swear to God, I know I started this in January. I could be wrong, I could be off by like two months, but I'm pretty sure it was January, but not the point. Point being, I never saw myself watching something like Ruby. I'm glad I did, because I love it. Volume 1 is down, Volume 2 is done. Volume 3, oh my god, I am so excited. Volume 2 was really good and I have some questions, like the ending, like I did not recognize the dude at first that was from the, the black trailer. I didn't recognize him at first. I'm shocked I didn't, but then again, I haven't seen the black trailer in like a while, so. But still, I should have recognized him, right? But I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with Mercury and Emerald and Cinder, obviously. Obviously, they're going to break Roman out. Duh. But, oh. And then we have the tournament. I don't know if we're going to get the tournament in this episode, but... Either way, I'm sure it'll be fun. But, Volume 3, and this is where it gets dark, too, I'm pretty sure. I was told Volume 3 is where it gets more serious. I'm all for that. Just as long as no one I like gets hurt, I'm totally fine with that. A nice sunrise or sunset I can't tell Ruby hey mom uh oh sorry I haven't come by in a while that was like things a dream been... sequence or some shit well things have been pretty busy oh dad's here too he's uh, you know dad, dad. He's still teaching his I love you, but he Ruby. Told me he's going to be going out on some missions soon. I think he misses adventuring with you. Oh. I miss you too. Oh, Ruby. Haven't gotten kicked out of Beacon yet. So that's. I stress cool. the word yet. I think being on a team. With but Dan I think he'll be okay. I keep her in line. That was a joke. She's actually a really great fighter. You can tell she's learned a lot from Dad. Well, so are Weiss and Blake. Oh, they're my teammates. Together, we form Team Ruby. And yes, before you ask, that does cause a lot of confusion. Mm. Anyways, uh, I made a bunch of new friends, and I met some, let's just say, odd teachers. Mm, yeah. Oh, we've also stopped some bad guys, too. I guess it's like they say, like mother, like daughter. I still wonder why Ozpin let me into the school early. But, uh, yeah, I guess he'll tell me one day. Because he's shady as fuck. He is. It's funny, the more I get to know him, the more he starts sounding like Uncle Crow. <laughs> oh, looks like Dad's back. I gotta go. He's dropping me out at Beacon for the tournament match before he goes on his next I mission. I missed that dog. It was good to talk. I'm gonna go with sunrise. <laughs> yeah. I always get those two mixed up. Oh, so we are getting the tournament in this episode. That's good, I like me a tournament. And round one, go oh duh, the title's round one. God, I'm stupid. Oh, uh, we're just jumping right in? I'm totally okay with that. I think it's safe to say this match may be one of the closest we've seen in the four and four rounds of the tournament. For those of you just now joining us, welcome to the final tournament. Yes, I like me a good tournament. I just hope no one crashes this tournament. Allow us to break down the rules. 
The tournament is divided into three distinctive rounds. Teams, doubles, and singles. Age and school year are irrelevant. In this tournament, the only attribute being tested is skill. Correct. The winners of this battle will elect two of their members to represent them in the doubles round. Followed by the winners of that round choosing oh. one member to advance once and again. And one for the last round. The remaining oh. combatants will then fight their way through the final bracket in the hope of achieving victory for their kingdom. And if they lose? Yes, these certainly are some spectacular spectacles on which to spectate on. And I don't think anyone tuning in around the world is going to disagree with me on that. Uh, and why would they? Now, let's get back to the match between Team Ruby of Beacon and Team Auburn. Oh, Y'all already know which team I'm rooting for. Oh, my, 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 yes, Blake. Uh, okay. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Did you hurt your butt? Oh please, Yang has so got this. Right, Yang? You got this, right? Oh, she don't got it. But she'll get it. Oh fuck. You Was that Weiss? Nope, Ruby. Weiss. Oh, one day. <laughs> oh, we're getting some song action. I love the music in this, really. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I think I'm stuck for a minute. You're screwed. Right? Yeah, what? I'm sorry, what? The fuck was that wing for? Oh, that's why he passed to the crystal thingy. Please fuck these bitches up. Don't fall on your butt again. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Bye. So how many more we gotta go? Two or three? I think two. Two more to go. Oh my god. <laughs> Slam him into a wall. Oh, that's three. I forgot about her. You and your goddamn whip rope thingy. No, no, no. What are you gonna do? Do something, wise. Do something. Come on, get them! Fatality. That was like one punch for three people. Fucking fatality, even though they're not dead. Same. Up an appetite. I thought that was a fucking monster or something. Oh wait. It's okay, Weiss. I forget about the fairgrounds too. I was being facetious. Oh god! Well, if you were hungry, why did you say so? Come on, I know just the place. 
Get some ice cream. Oh shit. Not gonna answer. Hey! Yeah. Might be hard to eat without this. Oh hello. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Good to see you, Ruby. Oh, not hello. Goodbye. Oh, thanks, Emerald. Oh, guess I dropped it. Oh, girl pockets are the worst. What's up? I don't suppose Mercury and Cinder are with you. Well, you I doubt Cinder. Awesome. <laughs> Since when is she without Mercury? I heard your team progressed the next round too. Yeah, of course I they did. Like we never see. They probably cheated. Yes. How they do in the fight? Oh, uh, is that Neo? Yep. Oh. Really well. That's great. Really well. Why don't we all go out and get some vintage food together? Oh, gosh, that's so nice of you, but my teammates are all kind of introverted. <laughs> I can tell. Really socially awkward. Ooh, yeah. I can see that. So, yeah, looks like Merc and I are going to be moving on to the doubles round. What about you guys? Well, as the leader of this team, I thought long and hard about this decision. We put it to a vote. <laughs> yes, but I decided that we should put it to a vote. We voted for Weiss and Yang. I will happily represent you. <laughs> Mercury and I see you down the line, don't think we'll go easy on you. <laughs> oh, bitch, please, they won't go easy on you either. All right, well, we're gonna go catch some more fights. Have fun! See you later! So how are the new friends? I hate them. Or I hate you, too. Orders. I'm glad we I understand just, each other. How can they be so happy all the time? Did you at least get How can you home? be so moby all the time? Mm, all right. At least now we know who we're working with. At least they know how to be happy instead of mopey. I'll have a bowl of the regular, please. <coughs> oh. I'll Sam. take the same. <laughs> Jeez, you Do you like... have anything with a low salt? Um, could you like stop the pushing? Maybe? What was this? What is this? Oh, what the? Oh. Oh, what? It's what's the occasion? Consider it thanks for sending me to the doubles round. The mm. fuck? What? Why? Pira! Oh, I love Pira. You have to, but she could. I think I love all of them. I think you all earned it after that battle. Mind if we join you? That's why I freaking love Pira. She's so nice to everyone. Watch someone burps. Or pukes. Or passes out. Or all of the above. Are you sure it's wise to have eaten before a fight? Of course. Before a fight? Yeah, you might not want to have to. Burp? Dora. Possible barf? But if you do feel the urge. Got it. Well, we should be off. So you think okay, no barf. Me? I came close. Of course. Not really. We've got a world renowned fighter on our team. What's basically a ninja. I can bench five with me. John, we've trained all year. Our weapons are awesome. Luna barely yells at us anymore. And, uh, John! Are you gonna take that? Did he pass out? She's not wrong. I'm kidding. He knows I'm kidding. Don't be so nervous. The worst that could happen is we lose. Then it's just a few more years of walking around school with everyone knowing we're failures. Our friends will pull the advantage uh -huh. of our social status. We'll uh -huh. show our faces in class. Uh -huh. No one will share with us in the cafeteria. Our friend and I have no parents. We have no home left to go to. We'll be officially renamed. That's the spirit. So, yeah. We're feeling pretty good. Don't fret. If anything, we should be looking forward to a fight with actual guidelines and not, well, murderers. Yeah, don't sweat it. We've all faced way worse before. Let's see. Grim invasions, violent extremists, a destructive sociopath. And that's all we were still in <laughs> He's not the only destructive <laughs> sociopath. Are you forgetting Cinder? Be able to pay for Mercury? Emerald. Wait, not Mercury and Emerald are just kind of like dimwits. 
Cinder is just a freaking evil bitch. Well, it looks like this is it. Go get him! I'm not gonna get to watch Pure Fight, am I? What a shame. Same. That was me after Infinity War. I could barely walk, I could barely move, I could barely breathe. Uh-huh, and? It's gonna end right here before Pyrrhus is to fight. Oh, here she Even is. Even if you know how a story ends, that doesn't make it any less fun to watch. Oh, maybe I am gonna get to watch them fight. But what if something bad happens and it ends on a cliffhanger? It's not. End on a cliffhanger? Are we good? Are we okay? So, holy crap, that was a really freaking good premiere. That might have been my favorite volume premiere out of all the three volumes I've seen so far. Well, granted, I've only seen two volumes, but out of what I've seen, like volume one's premiere was good, volume two's was good. This was just amazing, though. It was so funny, it was so action packed. That fucking ending, though. I thought we were actually gonna get to see them fight. And they go to fight, and then they have that little slow-mo at the end, and it ends custom black. Wait, wait to get my hopes up. Well, that was Ruby, Volume 3, Chapter 1. Definitely my favorite premiere volume, or volume premiere. Who knows, that could change when I start Volume 4 and 5, and if it comes out after I'm done. Well, I already know it's coming out, I just don't know when, but Volume 6, and so forth. But anyway, anyway, you get the gist. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.